I want you to take a look at the whole body before you decide how much you want to increase or reduce on a specific point. Once you have a big idea of how to grade in general, which I will show you in a moment, then the grading on specific garments or points will be way easier. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. If you love my videos, join my email list. Once a week, you will get extra pattern making lessons from me. You can join my email list on my website, patternstudio101.com. Let's talk about grading today. First, what is grading? Grading is a process of creating different sized patterns from the original pattern. For instance, you made a blazer in size medium. So you have the pattern in size medium and you want to make exact same design of blazers in size extra small, small, large, extra large, etc. You don't want to draft each size of blazer from scratch, right? Grading is a significant step in the ready-to-wear industry. If you are a professional pattern maker, this is critical knowledge you want to have. Even if you are working on customized coding, still, it's a great skill to have. If you've watched my videos for a while, you might have noticed I keep saying there's no fixed rule for pattern making because people are asking me, what's the rule? How to calculate? But pattern making is not a perfect science. We all have different body shapes and your design is obviously very unique. Same to grading. All the companies have their own grading rules. If you own your brand, you are the one creating grading rules for your brand. There are so many different ways of grading. There's no right or wrong. However, there are some general ideas when it comes to grading. I want you to consider a few things before you actually grade any specific garment. Let's take a look at what they are. First, I want to mention grading in length. If you're working on children's wear, when you grade chest circumference, you want to grade the length as well. As the chest measurement is getting bigger, the length of the t-shirts or pants will be longer. However, when it comes to menswear or women's wear, then the length grading is your choice. Some brands grade the length when they grade the chest or hip, so the bigger chest or hip measurement, the longer t-shirts or pants length. But some companies don't grade the length. Of course, people's heights are all different. But if my friend is taller than me, it doesn't necessarily mean she has a bigger chest circumference than mine. So you make a standard height for your brand and grade only width-wise. That's what many menswear or women's wear companies are doing. Okay, next. I want you to take a look at this whole body before you decide how much you want to increase or reduce on a specific point. We're going to take care of the chest, waist, and hip as one thing. So they will increase or decrease together. When the body circumference, I mean the chest, waist, and hip, increases one inch, how much do you think the neck circumference increases? Look at the portion of the body and the neck. Maybe half amount? So when the body circumference increases one inch, neck circumference increases about half of an inch or a little bit more. What about shoulder width? This is not circumference, it's a distance. 
maybe the half amount of body circumference. Then when the chest circumference increases by one inch, the shoulder width need to be increased by half of an inch or a little bit less, like three eighths of an inch because the body circumference includes the side part, the width. Because the shoulder width is a distance, then maybe three-eighths of an inch is enough. What about the bicep? When the chest circumference increases by one inch, I said about half of an inch on the neck circumference. Then maybe three-eighths of an inch on the bicep. Are you with me? Okay, then what about the thigh? The thigh circumference is smaller than the waist, but bigger than the neck. Then maybe five eighths of an inch or three quarters of an inch would be good, right? The wrist or ankle is not growing a lot compared to body circumference growth. So quarter of an inch would be okay. I have to repeat. Every human body is unique. These rules are just for ready-to-wear clothing, and all companies have their own grading rules. But once you understand how to grade in general, like what we just did, then the grading on the specific garment will be much easier. I'm going to show you how to grade basic body patterns in the next video based on what we discussed today. Are you a pattern maker? Join my Facebook group, Pattern Making Professionals. The links are in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.